uh, through some contacts in the Thunder Bay, Halifax region, I've uh, managed to obtain this sample. It was uh, intercepted. I think it was en route going north to polar region to be distributed by uh, you know who for uh, this upcoming holiday season, Christmas. And um, once again, very excited and glad to have this. I got this last night. I wore it. And I'm wearing it now as my scent of the day. And I'll prove it to you. There's me. Welcome, ladies. This is a French penny right there. We call them plumeria. Um, wearing it as scent of the day. Very excited. Ladies and germs, this is Bell Om from Les Abstraits. Number two release. And my name is Bob. Welcome, viewers and friends. Oh, yeah. yeah help, 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 help. Okay, real quick uh, first impressions. So, yesterday wore it, shimmering on the hand, and now it's my scent of the day. And I'll, I'll spray some now. Check it out, and it's it's gonna keep that shine and uh, glow. Now, just to get this out, we we all know about first impressions and high quality perfumes. You smell this off the cap. This was like the previous um, La Douleur experience. For instance, in La Douleur, when you skim, smell it off the cap, not off a skin over wearing, but you get that high quality rose. And a lot of our brains went to a high quality rose, such as um, the Frederick Mall, uh, P-O-A-L, right? Portrait of a Lady. And uh, I think that's relevant to say that. As you wore it, it did not smell like that, I agree. And things change as you get to know it. But first impressions are exciting. Like I said, I'm uh, grateful and happy to have this. So uh, I want to get something uh, out there to, to you, my friends, as soon as possible. So smelling this off the nozzle, just off the nozzle, not off the wear, you get um, a makeup-y lipstick iris. And I get the, uh, the dark sweet cacao kind, which points my brain towards Dioroma Intense, DHI. And that's a good thing. But that's not, you'll, you'll see when you wear it, I don't get those sharp definitive uh, distinctions. But that's what you get off the nozzle. But it's very different after a wear. And I think it has to do with uh, the premium quality fragrances. Like cheap designers, probably smell the same off the cap as they do the wear. Now it's gonna stay shimmering like that. Ladies, this one has a glow to it. Uh, I'm gonna start describing this. Um, it has a, a definitive and an abstract glow It'll make your skin shine and uh, puts a smile on your face, in my opinion. Bellam from uh, Les Abstraits. I thought it over for hours. So I wanna give you some words to describe this right off the bat, which I like to do. And I enjoyed uh, getting that technique or that presentation from uh, E from New York. Um, he was good, good man. I'm getting a creamy suede, a cream suede iris, spicy nutty, out of this uh, release from Les Abstraits. 
at the same time as uh, the creamy leather-like accord that lasts, I think, the whole wearing. I distinctly love the uh, dry, dusty sweetness, I think, comes from the spice. Um, that might be due to the cardamom in here, which I love. I love cardamom. Um, it's spicy. It stays spicy, tickles the nose. But the buttery, suede iris sticks out for me in the beginning. And then right away, it's you smell the nutty qualities to it. And the sweetness comes from there, I bet either from the cardamom or, or the notes giving it uh, this nuttiness, which might be the, uh, the Tonka bee. And I was kind of glad to hear that anchoring this. I, I, I like Tonka bee. This is a winner. I like it a lot. And a good, easy wear, high quality, I was pleasantly surprised about uh, maybe how easy this is to wear. Both ladies and men. And uh, like I said, it's gonna shine off your skin. Yeah. Dry, yet buttery. Gives you that dusty quality that I like. Um, and a lot of you are gonna be very pleased, in my opinion, because I like Iris. I don't think I'm a huge lover of it, like some of you I know out there. Um, but I do enjoy it, I enjoy, I enjoy florals very much. I like the leather qualities of this uh, that immediately shows uh, when you spray it. I, it's, it's, it might come from the, uh, the orris root because uh, you know I've been told that uh, orris root has so many facets and one of them might be a, a suede-like soft beige colored leather, which reminds me, you know, I have suede in my mind. So, excellent day. Release. Like I said, it's more makeup-y and lipstick-y off the cap, but then um, you definitely do get a round iris as you're smelling it off your skin. Very good. And then the spice, there's some other stuff in here I don't know if it's coumarin or cumin, but uh, I looked over the notes and after I wore it for an hour or so yesterday, and I think um, there's probably a lot more in here that uh, that is told, and that's fine. Uh, I don't care to know everything. It's just I want to get an overall reaction and a sense. For iris lovers, this is a definite must try um, out there. And for iris lovers amongst our small little uh, chat community and friends, I would say this is a, a must a must get uh, and a, a good no problem bl blind buy. But uh, for everyone else out there, I think this is. Uh, a high recommendation to try. Even if you don't like iris too much, I still recommend you getting your nose on one of these samples um, from this uh, company because it, it's centered around it, but it's, it's dressed up far beyond uh, just uh, the oris, the buttery oris, I think. There's, I bet, there's just a shine in this that is from beginning to end 
that you know puts a smile on everyone's face. It's a happy glow. Uh, <laughs> you might call it a recovery or something. Uh, but more than contentment, it's a, a very happy shine that I get from this. Uh, sweet from from that shine. And like I said, I think the sweetness is coming from the uh, cardamom. The spicy, yet dry, dusty cardamom. And I heard uh, and I read that Tonka Bean is in here. And that makes sense because this is, this is very nutty, in my opinion. That reminded me of a fragrance in my collection, right? I don't have a big collection, but I have I have some. And then I thought quickly what it was in my head that it was a note was reminding me of a note in this fragrance um, from Amawash Reflection Man, which I love. There's a nutty accord in there, and that reminds me of Reflection Man. And then I looked up Reflection Man, and lo and behold, it has orris root in it. So maybe the commonality is the orris root. Just for the record, I, I love Reflection Man, but I have never thought it paralleling or being akin to uh, Lamal um, from JPG, which I like also. I don't, I don't think it smells anything like Lamal. But uh, that's off the subject any reactions out there saying that this smells, you know, like something else. Are you kidding? But, yeah, I'm going to write some comments if they come to my mind in the, in the, in the below section. But I'm wearing this today. Okay. There's that very oily sheen that's coming from this. nuttiness but there's always like in back of the nuttiness there's always that sweet shine and it's going to be a winner I think uh, ladies will love this as well as men happy sweet floral fragrance for a woody and obviously there's some woody in, woods in here, probably sandalwood and to add to the creaminess. But I'll have some more thoughts in the future probably. And you'll be no doubt hearing more thoughts coming in day by day of this new release. Like I said, I uh, can't reveal my um, sources, but I'm very happy to have this in, um, in the mail yesterday and to get this out to you so let me know your expectations and thoughts or let me know your thoughts of maybe you've already sniffed this so uh, down the road I'm definitely would like to get a bottle of this when uh, I'm able for sure I want to get uh, a bottle of this and um, continue exploring it I've already done some damage, so let me know your thoughts and expectations, your anticipations, but these are en route to uh, Santa Claus, and I think he's going to be mailing out a lot of bottles and samples to all the regions in the world. So, thanks for bearing with me with my coffee. Thank you, God, for not having me sprayed in my coffee this time and I'll get back to you next time. First impressions of this number two release from Les Abstraits, Bellam, Antoine Lee Perfumer, uh, directed by You Smells Good, Eugene. Just another fabulous uh, job. Poise uh, showing uh, showing recovery, content, happiness.
happy, loving recovery from his first dramatic release of kind of darkness, uh, feelings of despair, and being pulled out uh, into hope. Always got to have hope. So very important. There's always hope. So thanks for tuning in. I'll talk to you later. Let me know in the comments. Bye-bye.